Hi friends, I want to show you a rapid game of me that took me in top 500 of leeches once again. I was in top 500 and there are both and then came back. This game is not only taking me to top 500 and as you can see, it is my peak rating so far, 2483. So let's take you to the game. This is my last rapid game. It's uh, Benoni. It's 10 minutes against 10 minutes. Let me show you engine. Okay, not the lines. Uh, I don't want to show the best move of engine because that's confusing. So I play Benoni as typical for me. I push here. Of course, White can uh, White play it actually uh, E3. And here, White have course can capture that pawn but then it's very dangerous because I play a5 preventing uh, b4 push uh, to defend that pawn you don't push that uh, because then you will lose it there is no good way to defend that pawn and soon you will lose I mean you don't have such a thing right because then this is the end of a game for white but of course uh, black uh, white can defend that pawn it's very complex it's very complex. Uh, actually, voice should play something like e4. It's uh, looking a strange, right? Uh, I take and then takes. It's uh, getting crazy. But it's uh, oh, it's quite complex and it's not very healthy to play it unless you know the line completely. Therefore, white doesn't take but defense. But then it's time for me to take it because if I don't take it, white consolidates. I take. And then takes back. Now it's like uh, white doesn't have any tempo advantage, right? I developed the first piece basically. Push the pawn. Uh, this is a bad move by white. You shouldn't do that. You should develop pieces. And what's the reason? This is a very committal move. What's the reason to play f4? What do you attack with? And uh, you didn't develop any piece yet. To commit such a, a strong move anyways i develop knight engine doesn't like it engine basically says that i have to play bishop there it's reasonable but i didn't want to get into complications like this i mean this is a very forcing line i, I should defend it and then knight comes in or you know, bishop can pin my knight so i didn't want to get into these complications Therefore, I first play knight there because I want to defend the d-pawn with enough forces to have a freedom to move my queen wherever I want. Now, what prevents me from putting the bishop on a good square, but I have another good square. This is the reason that I didn't play it earlier. G4 is also a very good square. Brings the knight in front, defend the uh, attack. I push the pawn brings the bishop out and i also bring the bishop now already in the opening i'm much better that f pawn is a permanent weakness it's my target as you can see i already targeted that pawn castles castles attacking the pawn there is no good way to defend that pawn so what gives up there are some crazy ways to defend it but maybe not worth it uh, so white uh, goes for blood actually takes 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 now my queen is not in a very good position i'm up a pawn but my queen is in a bad position first i uh, takes the knight uh, i take the uh, notice that why he played rook uh, e1 if i do something stupid like i don't know something like that then he can block my queen pass and my queen is in a no, terrible position there is no way back i should stay here and it's not very good for me so he played rook uh, e1 to prevent my queen's backward uh, escape but i wasn't care actually i say that it doesn't matter i don't want to go back and it oh sorry anytime soon so i uh, finally retreat the queen of course, I can't uh, wait and stare at the world because then uh, here, for example, some move like that is very dangerous for my queen. Also, he can destroy my pawn structure. So, 
I didn't want to let this happen, so I restrict the queen voluntarily. Brings the uh, um, pawn forward. Uh, okay, the reason that he put the pawn there is that let's say he was doing something else. Okay, then my knight was going there. Then he had to push the pawn, and it wasn't good at this moment. So he did it. He um, did uh, took preventive measures. I play rook there, and he plays queen there. Okay, let me tell you why he plays there. He want to move the knight forward, of course. Okay, but right now he cannot because I captured that pawn, uh, and uh, the uh, the other pawn is pinned to the rook to the queen, so he cannot move it. Therefore, he moves the queen away to be able to move the knight. And I want to attack to the king's side, but I want to consolidate in the queen's side and say that, okay, you don't have any chance to get in here. Finally, he puts the knight in the center. Very good move. I thought about this move, whether I should capture that knight or not. As you can see, I didn't think too much so far. Then, after 10 seconds, I said that, okay, I don't want to capture that knight. Retreats the knight, attacks the queen, and here again is another moment that I thought about it. Uh, I didn't have many options basically. I have one uh, score to go, but uh, I thought, what's my um, final plan? My, uh, I was thinking actually, at some point, place the knight there, right? But right now, I cannot because then captures my queen with check. Uh, and I was thinking uh, how to apply this plan actually. It's very simple plan, right? And it's very easy to stop it, but it's annoying at the same time. I place the queen there, brings the queen out here. As you can see, I thought quite a lot. I thought for one minute. I thought about this move, pushing the pawn. Because if I was pushing the pawn, then my knight was, uh, if it goes, uh, if it was going back, my knight was going in, and this knight was a monster over there. But, on the other hand, I thought that he doesn't go back. Instead, he plays queen e5, e3. I have to take. He has to take with the knight. And then, of course, I can go in with the knight, okay, attacking his uh, rook and then cementing the knight in the center. But then I say that whether I like this um, uh, position at the end. As you can see, engine says it's minus 3. I partially understand why it is minus 3, but I didn't understand it during the game. I, I, I spent one minute thinking about it. Uh, I thought whether I like this structure or not. I'm up a half pawn at this position because I have a double pawn. I was up a pawn. No, I'm up a half pawn, but I have a passed E pawn, which has a very strong defensive resource in the back. But then I was also afraid of him being weakening my pawn structure. And... Yeah, I mean, I couldn't look at this position, right? I should have to take some action, I don't know, or something like that. But then, then the position doesn't look so great anymore, right? So I was afraid of all these complications. I don't want to look at the engine line, what engine suggests. Uh, but as you can see, it's not so easy for human to realize. I mean, there are lots of uh, details to be considered. Therefore, eventually... I didn't go for that line. I didn't play f5. Instead, I continued my expansion the queen side and said, that, okay, I will wait. I'm a waiter. I will wait and see what you want to do. Now, of course, I, it's not just waiting. I also have an option to attack in the queen side, minority attack. And then if a minority attack is, su is successful, and for example, if I win another pawn, then it's clear end of a day. It's not uh, very easy to uh, stop my pawn from pushing forward and weakening his pawn structure further. So he does uh, nothing basically and I push pawn to g6. Edge again, engine doesn't like that move. Engine again suggests go for it. But um, for the reason that I explained you earlier, I didn't go for it. And I play g6. Okay, you may say that why g6? Because... This time, if he comes here, I want to take, and then after he takes, I can retreat the queen somewhere. Whatever, I don't know. Maybe this isn't the best place. Maybe I should go here, something like that. Because now he cannot capture this uh, knight.
but imagine imagine that the pawn wasn't there i don't know i was uh, i was continuing my plan here then he was able to come in after i take if i take i couldn't take basically he takes and then i lose the knight i don't know where can i go no, I, I couldn't go here because then it takes with the tempo and then wins the h pawn as well so <clears throat> so this is a this is a uh, safety measure for me basically defending my knight uh, stopping his uh, dangerous bishop his bishop was eyeing on h7 pawn stopping his dangerous bishop and now my queen has the liberty to go anywhere he wants she wants okay and of course uh, the whole time the white was annoyed by my queen and knight combination he didn't like what i'm doing and it wants to uh, push my queen away and for that sacrifice the pawn this was completely unnecessary but i understand his position because he was thought about if it goes back my knight comes in and it's uh, it's very enjoying <laughs> it's very easy life here for me so he was just or she was just very frustrated and i just i'm a pawn grabber i grab it gives one check but check doesn't kill you he could capture this pawn maybe but then I, it was uh, it's a little bit complicated it's not that easy i could attack that uh, knight uh, and um, perhaps win it and it's not easy to save it so he didn't grab that pawn or she didn't grab that pawn but now i'm killing i'm basically killing my knight goes in i'm uh, attacking the rook rook cannot go up because this is a mate so you should do something with that and for that uh, interestingly engine doesn't realize this move at a start okay now i moved engine realizes engine doesn't see that uh, how strong is this move uh, and mm, uh, it takes a little bit time for engine to realize and then i take it takes okay you say what was the strong about this see i'm up two pawns i have a very good pawn structure not just being up two pawns very good pawn structure this is a clear win so remove the complications remove the queens off the board and this was the easiest way to remove the queens no kick that defender and then here engine again says that do crazy stuff bring the knight back of course he cannot take it because then this is the end of a day right uh, this is a piece complete piece but but i saw that uh, he retreats the knight and then offers me exchange i didn't want that i said i want to cement my knight there and i i create complications at this moment it's not unnecessary but i did it because there is no queen to get anything mated unwantedly at some point but then it's not difficult it's not bad to make complications so i bring my other piece into attack and defend my pawn takes six and then i continue my queen sonnet expansion there again this is a waiting move what do you want to do i'm asking white what do you want to do i'm destroying your queen side i already i'm already up two pawns in the king side i'm destroying your queen side and then there's nothing to play for you white tries to go in zane and this basically kills white i first defend that pawn this is not my purpose is not defending the pawn it's just winning the rook he goes up i am attacking the rook he retreats the knight at this position i could have grabbed that rook but i said that okay i don't i let him to fork my rook and then after that i win that rook because the rook doesn't have any place to go right but why i didn't capture that rook earlier why i didn't uh, uh, capture that rook at this position now as you can see engine says it's zero because comes in with check and uh, i didn't calculate completely actually i do i can't say why it is uh, according to engine zero but uh, i had some feeling that something like that uh, can happen and uh, this is a draw but uh, as you can see engine says that if i go, i go there i will lose i don't want to analyze it at all but 
you don't create complication. You don't create drama, right? And you don't put your king in a bad spot when you are quite up. So I said, okay, you win exchange, but then I win a complete piece. And the game continued a little bit, and uh, I continued my expansion in the queen side. Even though you are up a piece, you should prove that why you are better. And I win the rook first, and then give it check. Here he tried to make it a draw by putting his king in a very bad position, but we are experienced players. We don't uh, allow such things happen. So I went there. He has to move back with the king, and at this position, he resigned. I hope you took something out of this game. See you next time. Bye.